What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We're going to talk about Scream 6, Jeebus Creepers 4, uh, Insidious Chapter 5, and then going on into Chucky Season 2. So just to kick things off with Scream 6, first thing we're going to discuss again is that movie. This new image you see here came out a couple days ago showing Samara Weaving on set with Jasmine and Tony. Now, I've seen people discuss what this could mean for Samara based on what she is wearing because the color is similar to Gail Weathers' attire or one of her attires that we saw in the original Scream movie from 1996. If she is playing a rival reporter, I would say that would give Gail a cool side story to explore and i'm going to do a separate video to discuss this in full it could be something they play up where you have another rebecca or mrs loomis type of thing but maybe something makes it more personal and of course i would also throw in there that in this idea of mine I'm not having Samara Weaving as the killer, but this is a cool photo that came out a couple of days ago of her hanging out on set with some of her co-stars. And obviously I've already seen people draw conclusions that this must mean Jasmine is done filming or Mindy will die. If anything, all it means is that she's done filming. I don't think this necessarily automatically means that she's dying. So I'll make a separate video talking about what I think uh, could happen if you put Samara Weaving in like a rival reporter role with Gail Weathers and how that could be interesting depending on the material presented in that dynamic. So the other thing we need to talk about in this video here today is related to Insidious 5. Now Insidious 5 is releasing next July and I'm going to assume production has already started based off this image you see here on your screen which uh, shout out to Blumhouse Horror over on IG because if this is real and true then I guess Insidious 5 is called Insidious 5 Fear the Dark. Jason Blum, I believe, also recently put out a tweet of himself and Patrick Wilson letting us know that another Insidious was coming. And that's something we, I guess, can be looking forward to since, again, that's coming out next July. We know this is supposed to be a Lambert reunion, but no word on if Lynn Shea will return as Elise. Uh, we just got word that Rose Byrne will be returning after there was concerns that she wouldn't be back. But it's going to be a whole entire trio reunion of those big three members of that family, even though there were more members we know that existed. So I wonder if this title ties into why Dalton ends up back into the further or if this relates to darkness being the strengths of whoever the antagonist will be this time around, which I'm expecting to be the lipstick face demon demon. Maybe there's something with darkness that ends up being a plot device as to how this villain uses it against those that are trapped in the further uh, again. Lynn Shay, I also will throw this in. Lynn Shay, a few a few years ago in 2019, she actually put comments out saying that she was hopeful that another movie would happen, and that she had heard some things about how they were they were plotting people from previous entries back into the fold. And it's funny how that ended up being true. So I wonder if she will indeed have a role in the movie as well. But we'll see as time goes on. But the last, not the last, but the next thing we need to talk about in this video is related to Jeepers Creepers 4. Uh, so Jeepers Creepers 4 has that al alternate trailer that's out there. It has a shot of the creeper dumping bodies down a pipe. And I've read some messages in my inboxes uh, about flashbacks possibly happening. So far, the only thing that could be a flashback method in this movie is Lane's visions. The dumping of the body could, of course, be happening in the year 2024 like the rest of the movie should be. If it again indeed is picking up after where part two left off. Although I know I've made a video talking about the characters Ron and Marie played by Gary Graham and uh, D. Wallace. If you remember that video, there might be a scene between them where it's set in 1991 or something uh, where I talked about that leaked script page that was out there where it mentioned the year 1991. It would be nice to have a flashback of the creeper dumping bodies down a pipe, but it's probably also just something that's going to be set in 2024. Or here's another thing that could be Taggart's body that we see getting dumped down the pipe. Now, as far as if that actually happens, I would hope that if they do make a Jeepers Creepers 5 and it's something that has nothing to do with screen media, if they say Taggart died in this movie, I'd ignore that. I'd, I'd be willing to say you can ignore that because if Jeepers Creepers 5 ends up being the movie that I know a lot of you hoped it would be, then I don't care if that was Taggart's body going down the pipe. <laughs> if it's going to be something that brings Ray Wise back to the role, that's something they can ignore and they can bring Taggart back. But again, the whole him being shown dumping bodies down the pipe in that short brief moment in that alternate trailer that's out there. I don't think that's going to be a flashback. It could be, but most likely has something to do with just being said in the modern times. And it's just like a callback to him dumping bodies down the pipe, showing that that's still one of his things he likes to do. Uh, 
So the last thing we're going to be talking about in this video here today is Chucky Season 2. So Chucky Season 2 is beginning to wrap production. Christina Lee, who stars as Kyle, shared this image of herself hugging Zachary Arthur, who we know stars as Jake. She recently wrapped. Devin Sawa has recently wrapped and confirmed it in a tweet recently as well. Now, some fans have already started thinking this means Kyle is a goner for real this time around in Season 2. My thoughts on that is, I mean, she could just be used for several flashbacks anyway, and Kyle could have been someone who died in season one in that explosion. The series premiere is, of course, right around the corner. I think it's, what, October 5th? So we'll all know this very soon. Devin Sawa died two times. You know, Christina Lee, we don't know if the character of Kyle has died or not. Judging from how much time she spent on set, a lot of people think that's an indication she will indeed be alive. I do think that's a sign that she will ultimately be revealed as alive as well. But they could ultimately pull the rug out from under us, and it's just the fact that she was present because we might get several Kyle flashbacks for whatever reason. But then again, that still leaves the question who was that black handed glove watching the kids while they were in the cemetery visiting what I think was, if I'm recalling correctly, it's been a while since I watched the series finale, season finale, I meant to say. They were visiting Junior's grave and there was a black glove and a lot of that's where a lot of people were getting the idea that maybe Kyle survived. We'll ultimately find out when this show premieres. She could be alive. She could be dead and just being utilized for several different flashbacks that might pertain to Andy, most likely, or some other aspects about how we dive into the character of Kyle and what she's been up to in between the events of Child's Play 2 to Cult of Chucky to her relationship with Andy now. Uh, maybe even what happened between them in between Child's Play 2 and 3. So much that they could do that still required Christina Lee to be present during the second season. So we'll see what happens and we'll get all our answers on October 5th. Again, uh, I'll have another video coming out today about Samara Weaving and what dynamic I think she could have with Gail. Something I think would be cool to see. Uh, I'm also going to have a separate video for Jeepers Creepers 4 going on one last time about Trisha Jenner and if she should appear in the movie. But this was all the news I had. I'll have another video also coming out today about the Black Phone 2, Saw X, some other different things in the horror topics that are out there but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video